Hello everybody! I am back here with another Java tutorial. Uh, this is uh, for making bucket plugins. So yeah, today we'll be talking about giving items to players and dealing with that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to be showing a pretty common way to do it. There are of course many ways to do the same thing. I was just be showing you this example. So I have a main class set up here, and it's just a little basic one. Alright, and then you can go ahead and pause the video and copy everything down. I enlarged the text so it would hopefully be better for you guys. Um, if not, I'm sorry, but yeah. Hopefully the, the good video quality and enlarged text would help you be able to read this better. Anyways, um, I'll probably put all the code I use on the paste bin. That way that anybody who wants to use it can, of course, use it. Although it's not recommended to copy and paste it, you should probably watch the video and learn along. Which is better? And yeah. Alright. Go ahead and give me a second. Okay, so let's get started here. So, the first thing we want to do is, uh, Create a new class in the command seal. And then I'm just going to call it. Well, well, I'm just going to call it item. Well, no. Give item. Well, should be good enough. Uh, if you wanted to, yeah, I'm going to delete that and show you what you could do. If you wanted to, you could just uh, create a new class. Call it, you know, give item again. Although you could go ahead and go to here, add command executor here. Okay, and finish. And it just gives you a basic mock up of it. And so that's sometimes what I do. I always change it though from to sender CMD. S and then augs that's always what I change it to and we can go ahead and do from that and so if I do if so first of all we would want to see um, if they are sending a command so well we want to see if the name of the name of the command I mean this isn't always necessary but I like doing it just in case. Get name dot equals. I just do it anyway. It's not necessary to do this whatsoever. I just like doing it. And let's do give item. And there we go. So first I want. So first now I just get the player. Because we need to give the player item, so to do that, we'll just do player p, or what's p stands for player, equals, uh, I need a player sender, and so I'm basically casting sender to player, due to the fact it's not, it's due to the fact that sender is in command sender format and not player format, like it should be, and then. Now what we want to do is we could check to see if the player is a if it's a player because we want to make sure it's a player. So what I could do with that is uh, if uh okay well don't want to check if the, if it's a player. Um, it's a good practice too, but I don't think I'm going to do it in this tutorial. I think I'm going to put that in another one. Although it's 
always good practice to do it and the example I put in the description will probably have that. Alright, so let's so the first thing we need to do is we need to define the item. So we use item not whatever I just built. Item stack. And then I'm just gonna call this item equals new item stack and then I could do material dot and then here you have all of these materials I could give people or the player so let's give ourselves some diamond blocks what's that at diamond there it is let's give ourselves a diamond block Boom. And then we need to import item stack. Uh, go ahead and import it from bucket. Uh, if it would always work in the next version if you do that. And then now we need to get the item mate. Uh, that is our item meta. I'm just gonna call this item equals uh, equals item dot get item meta there we go and so now we get the item meta of it so now we can change the name and law and everything that we always wanted to do so now what I'm going to do is set the name so to do that you would do I am which is the item meta and then you can see all of this cool stuff you have here you could get enchantments and look at the display name set laws but we want to set the name so to do that we're just going to do set display name and let's translate color code so I want color code so let's do chat color dot translate alternate color codes and uh, the char and and then and in here we'll have the text that we need to translate and it auto imported for us up here, as you can see. So, so, so since I use this and, then I put the and here. Uh, let's do, let's do green and bold. Let's do diamond block. And there we go, we have a diamond block. And then, Oh, and the reason why I have, and so if I, for example, was to change this to a dollar sign, then these would all be dollar signs. Although, I'm not quite sure if dollar sign has a meaning or not in a string, so I know I just used and, as that's the color code in number bucket on servers. So now we're going to be adding, so now let's add lore to it, so to do this we're going to need to create a list because there can be more than one lore on an item, so we're going to need a list and, let's, and it needs to be a string because the uh, lores are strings, so I'm just going to do lore equals uh, new OA list that's how you spell it, OA list and I'm casting the string to it again. Gotta import all this stuff. Uh, let's see which one's the light one. You were like the light one. Alright, so it's java.util. I do it all the time and I always forget which one it is. So now we're gonna add a law to the law dot add. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So add, um, this is a diamond block. And let's add another line. So low dot add. Uh, in case you didn't know. <laughs> well, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and do I am dot set law and we're gonna set the law to law and there we go and now we have added that to it 
So now we need to set. So now we've made the metadata, but if we were to give the player the item now, none of it would show up because we have to set the item meta to that. So to do that, we just do um, item dot uh, dot set item meta, and we're gonna go ahead and set that to item and semicolon. There we go, we set the item data, <laughs> not the item data, the metadata. And so now we just need to give the player the item. So to do this, all we have to do is simply go here to p, which is player dot get inventory, because we need to get the inventory, and we're going to add the item. And let's go ahead and then item. There we go, and let's go ahead and give them a message. Send message. Uh, chat color green. Alright, let's send them the message. You have received a diamond block. There we go. You have received a diamond block. So that's great. Alright, let's look at this here actually. Do, do, do. And then, of course, you could always set how many blocks you want to give them, but let's just give them one. Because why would you need more than one diamond block? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Alright, so now we're done with the give item class. Now we need to go all the way back here. Wait. So now I'm going to go all the way back to the main and uh, let's let's try to get started so I'm going to do git command and then how does it give item dot x dot, dot set Execute all and then new uh, give item and then this. Let's import that. Show problem. Uh, new execute. Oh, oh, I forgot to um do this. <laughs> You're going to need to do this. Um, private uh, plugin. I forgot what I called it in here. Uh, public private name plugin. Alright, I'm sorry about that guys. I had a little interruption there. Alright, let's finish. So, plugin main gotta input that import and then let's do public give item think I'm doing it and then main login plugin equals this dot get this dot get plugin equals this dot plugin just this dot plugin actually and there we go and then that we that is a constructor right there I forgot to put that in in the beginning um I know whenever I do a class I don't want have it pre-made in there but I don't, and so that fixes our error right there. So now we're all good to go. And so I'm gonna export it. Not there. Uh, export. Java. Java file. Next. You can't export it. What am I doing? I still need the plugin that YML. <laughs> So I didn't have the. Pl I still need a plugin at YML. 
All right, let's just close that real quickly. Oh, crazy. Oh, don't open. No, don't open it in there. Open with, uh, other external. Let's see if I can find it. No pad plus plus. This is the first time I'm doing this on this computer. No pad plus plus. Passed it. Alright guys, so I've, uh, I got it here, have it opened up, and if you're wondering how to change yours to Notepad++, all you have to do is simply go to your external, um, things, you click browse, and then it's in your program, times 86, and it's on, in the notepad plus plus folder and then you just open up the EFC so I have it here and 1.0 looks like this looks all good just have to save it which I already did now let me change it 1.1 just so I can save it and then yeah I'll see if I can switch the point of view during the recording Doo -doo. Okay. Oh, hold on. So now we have this huge area over here to the side. Minus that. And then so now I just do export. And then I do under Java, I do Java file. Next. And then I browse the location. And I'm just going to go ahead and set it in my desktop. And I'm in under Eclipse. No. Oh no. I'm saving my test server. Alright, and then I'm gonna call this. Cool. I'm gonna call this tutorial. I and none of you saw that. So none of you saw that because I right now I have it set to uh, this area only. I'll make sure to change that in the next tutorial. So any, anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching again. See you guys next time. Bye bye.